go. Greg Shoemaker, TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com here with Sean Moran from the, the Kings Knights who win tonight in the first round of the playoffs, 10-7, to a tough home win. And Sean, man, I mean, week three you played Harrison on this field and they come back tonight and really pretty much uh, said, hey, we're going to play with you, big boys. What did you think about their performance? Well, we all know they were going to um, come hit us hard. They were going to come out harder than they did last time and hopefully we we're, we're going to do the same. That's what we were shooting for all, all week long. We, uh, they didn't really change much, so we just had to practice hard this week. And we came out on top, but there's a lot of things we have to fix before week two. Yeah, you talk about that a little bit. Uh, intensity, when I look at this, you know, obviously you played Trotwood Madison. I talked to Coach Douglas at Trotwood Madison last week. He thinks they're better than last year. What else do you think you need to do to elevate your game to get to the point to beat them right. in, the, in the finals? Well, I think we're better than last year too, but um, we just need to work on just our passion. Just, think, just keep playing throughout our whole game because a game like that, it's, we're going to have to fight, dog fight all whole, the whole game. Also, um, keep our stamina up and just, just want it more than they do. Number one tonight, you're wearing that number for yes, the sir. first time. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about the story, how you got that. Well, I was originally 52, but um, they put me on some offensive packages where I'm going out for a pass, and they wanted me a single-digit number because I th think it would be cool if I could play a single-digit number on defense too. So uh, we picked Nick Colados. He's unfortunately injured, and he let me have it this, so, this week. So how do you like playing on the offensive side of the football? I like it. I mean, I get a lot a lot more tired, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. More, t more t playing time. All right, tonight, your last game ever on this field. Take us through from your sophomore year. You guys had such a difficult season, and the last two years have been fantastic. Take us through that run for you. Well, going 3-7 isn't easy. It isn't easy on the team. It isn't even easy mentally. And I think last year we wanted to come out firing on all cylinders, and we, that's exactly what we did. We went 11-2. And, and this year we wanted to be better than we were last year. I think we've done that so far. We're 11-0. And, um, and just the emotion, just going through all the hardships on sophomore year, and then just going through it, two losses was, was enough last year. But hopefully we just keep our undefeated record. Um, and it's emotional on this field tonight because I know it's going to be the last time I'm playing on this field. There you go, Sean Moran, the star for the Kings Knights tonight. They went 10-7 over Harrison in the first round of the playoffs. They're now 11-0. I'm Greg Shoemaker for TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com. Thanks. Dude, I'll see you down the road. Congratulations, <laughs> man.